Today I'm going to talk about masks and also some end of life issues. Firstly, to talk about masks. If you are wearing a mask to protect yourself from the COVID virus, then the type of mask that you have to wear needs to be industrial quality and it needs to be very tight fitting. This is like one of them. I, I just put it on to show you here. Um, and this only gives me protection if I wear this mask with a visor covering my face, protective clothing, two pairs of gloves. The masks that people wear in the streets that tend to be cloth masks. They are not providing them with protection against viruses that are, that, that are coming in. I think that wearing a mask, say a cotton mask or, or a surgical mask, does actually provide some protection to other people if you have a cough. If you're coughing, then you are producing aerosols and they would be caught in anything that was around your Face. Mass is something that we're keeping a, a close eye on and we're thinking about and we're evaluating the evidence as it goes along and it may be as we move more towards uh, the period where some of the social isolation rules are relaxed that we need to think differently about mass. The second topic, there's been a large initiative within the UK uh, actually for quite some time now over the past year looking at improving people's control of the end of their life. Recently with the, with the issues around the COVID virus and, and, and the really uh, difficult COVID disease some people have been um, approached rather unexpectedly and asked to talk about their, what they feel about their end of life and, and, and uh, sort of decisions that they want making around the end of life. If uh, a person with CF is in the situation that they have contracted the coronavirus and are not particularly well with the COVID disease, that, that actually their CF team must be engaged in, in any conversations that go on about how that person is managed with, if they need any ventilatory support, that, that, that they are positively looked after in that respect. And we've done a lot of work with NHS England and the CF Trust to ensure that that happens. And one of the things that the CF Trust has done that you might be interested in is developing a small card, a bit like the uh, donor card that used to be a long time ago, but a small card that has your details on and the fact that you have cystic fibrosis and, 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 and contacted the team who, who, who you work with and who look after you, just in case something unexpected happens, uh, which we'd never wish, but, but it's better to be prepared. In the last few days, we've created a new hub on our website where you can access all of our coronavirus information in one place. The hub can be accessed from our website homepage and it contains answers to all of our frequently asked questions about coronavirus, information about employment, welfare, benefits and financial support, the latest updates from the UKCF Medical Association and information about your care and treatment during the COVID-19 outbreak. It also contains a section on well-being for those who are staying at home. This includes tips on how to stay physically active and links to online resources. It contains tips on maintaining a healthy weight and adequate nutrition whilst you're staying at home and also a section on your emotional and mental well-being. The information on the Hub is all produced in conjunction with CF experts and is being updated regularly. Over the weekend, the government updated its guidance relating to the Coronavirus Job Retention Scheme. The guidance now states that people who live with someone who is shielding are eligible to ask their employers to be placed on furlough or temporary leave if they're unable to work from home and would otherwise have to be made redundant. The government will pay 80% of the salaries of those who are on furlough for up to three months. Further information can be found on our website in the welfare Q&A. Finally, the Easter weekend is coming up and we're aware that people may have queries about coronavirus over that period. So we're going to be checking and responding to helpline emails on Good Friday and Easter Monday. We do encourage people to check the FAQs that we have on our website because we have answers there to some of the questions we receive most frequently about coronavirus through our helpline and through our social media channels. But if your queries aren't answered, or if you'd just like to talk to someone about a concern you have, please don't hesitate to get in touch. We're here to support people affected by cystic fibrosis in any way that we can.